Are there communities in your area with low vaccine coverage or high dropout rates? Do you know why? To identify and understand the issues behind these problems, you need to talk with people within the community. You can meet with community leaders and groups, but one of the most effective ways to learn about immunization issues is directly from the caregivers themselves. In this video, we will look at how to conduct household surveys in high priority areas. A household survey is a way to gather information from families with children between the ages of 12 to 23 months, record their immunization status, and determine the reasons if children are not fully immunized or are unimmunized. The information you gather can serve as a guide for in-depth community discussions, influence micro-planning, and ultimately help you identify problems and improve services. Before you begin a survey, it is essential to get permission from community authorities. Also engage community leaders and volunteers to participate in the visits along with teams of health center and district staff. The main tool for conducting household surveys is the Household Immunization Status Questionnaire. We will look at the main steps for completing a questionnaire, tallying the responses, asking questions to identify problems, totaling the results, and sharing the information. Before you begin, record important information such as the date, community, the distance from your health center, and your health center name. Every time you visit a household, tally each household with children aged 12 to 23 months, the number of children in the household within that age range, and the number of children with immunization cards. Then, record the immunization status of each child. If the child has an available card, tally whether they are fully, partially, or never immunized under from card tally. If the card is not available, but the caregiver can still provide immunization history, tally whether the child is fully, partially or never immunized under by recall tally. Next, if a child is partially or never immunized, find out why. Write the name of the child and ask the caregiver why the child is not fully immunized. Listen closely to the caregiver's response. Think about whether the lack of immunization is due to lack of information, lack of motivation, or other obstacles. If there is a lack of information, were they unaware they needed to immunize? Or return for another dose? Or where and when to receive immunizations? Perhaps they were afraid of adverse reactions or misunderstood contraindications for receiving vaccines. Or, perhaps they were not motivated to immunize, so they kept postponing. A lack of motivation may also be due to a lack of faith in immunization or incorrect rumors. Lack of immunization can be due to many other obstacles. Sessions may have been held at a difficult time or place. Perhaps the vaccinator or the vaccine was not available. Often, the caregiver is too busy or dealing with other family problems. Sometimes, the child is ill, so cannot be brought to the session, or is brought in, but simply not vaccinated. Unfortunately, sometimes caregivers do bring their child for immunization, but the wait time is too long. Mark an X next to the reason that best matches the answer given. You may need to ask follow-up questions to understand issues from the caregiver's point of view. For example, when a caregiver says she is too busy, find out whether she may be able to attend sessions at specific times or whether there are additional problems such as cancelled sessions that discourage people from going to the next one. Next, total the tallies you kept at the top of the form. Pay close attention to the number of children who are 
partially immunized, and never immunized. These totals will help you know if you have gathered enough information. In a small community, a sample of five partially or unimmunized children may be sufficient. But in a larger community, such as an urban slum, a sample of at least 10 children may be needed. When you have completed a survey, be sure to share and analyze the results. First, check vaccination information given by households against the immunization register. Make sure you add partially or never immunized children identified in the survey to default to tracking lists. Also, share the results with the team at your health facility. Take time to closely review and analyze the responses from your survey. Note the common reasons you heard for caregivers not starting or completing vaccination for their children. This information can serve as a basis for community discussions to delve deeper into problems and possible solutions. Results from the survey should also be considered when micro-planning. Finally, information gathered from your surveys may be shared with district and regional levels to better understand access and utilization issues and provide support where needed. You should now know how to conduct a household survey, tallying the responses, asking questions to identify problems, totaling the results, and sharing the information.